Welcome food enthusiasts, health buffs, and curious cats. Today, we're diving headfirst into the world of keto, where it's not just about cutting carbs but understanding macros. Now before you scramble for your computer manual, let me clarify. We're not talking about macros on your keyboard, but macros in your food, carbohydrates, protein, and fat. Think of it like this. If your body were a car, macros would be the fuel. You wouldn't expect your car to run smoothly without the right kind of fuel, would you? Similarly, your body needs the right mix of macros to function at its best, especially when you're on a keto diet. When you're on keto, you're aiming for a specific breakdown of macros, high fat, moderate protein, and low carbs. It's like a finely tuned orchestra, each instrument playing its part to create a harmonious symphony. But if one instrument is out of tune, the whole performance can go awry. In the same way, if your macros are imbalanced, your keto journey may hit a few speed bumps. But why is it so important to get your macros right? Well, getting your macros wrong can lead to a few challenges. For one, it can stall your weight loss. You might be thinking, I've cut carbs, why isn't the scale moving? But remember, it's not just about cutting carbs, it's about getting the right balance of macros. Secondly, focusing solely on macros without considering micronutrients can lead to nutritional deficiencies. You might be hitting your macro targets but missing out on essential vitamins and minerals. It's like having a car with a full tank of gas but no oil. You're not going to get very far. And finally, imbalanced macros can contribute to some unwanted side effects. Ever heard of the keto flu? Symptoms like fatigue, headaches, and constipation can all be signs that your macros are out of balance. So it's clear that understanding macros is crucial for a successful keto journey. But don't worry, we're here to help you navigate this. In the next few minutes, we'll be exploring how to calculate and track your macros, and how to avoid common pitfalls. So, buckle up and get ready to become a master of macros. Remember, it's not just about cutting carbs, it's about understanding the bigger picture. So let's dive in and start our macro journey together. So, you've jumped on the keto bandwagon but the scales aren't budging? Maybe you're ignoring your macros. Ignoring macros on a keto diet is like trying to drive a car with an empty gas tank, it's just not going to work. You see, when you're on a keto diet, it's not just about cutting carbs, it's about understanding the importance of macros, carbohydrates, proteins, and fats, and how they fuel your body. It's a delicate balance, my friends, not a game of hide-and-seek. Here's the skinny. When you miscalculate your macros, you might end up overeating or not getting enough of those keto-friendly fats. It's like hosting a party and not ordering enough pizza for everyone. The result? A stalled weight loss and a bunch of hangry partygoers. But that's not all. If you're only focusing on macros and ignoring micronutrients, you're setting yourself up for a nutritional deficiency. It's like trying to build a house with only bricks and no cement. The bricks are your macros and the cement is your micronutrients. You need both to build a sturdy, healthy body. And let's not forget about the unwanted side effects. When your macros are out of whack, you might start experiencing symptoms of the dreaded keto flu. Think fatigue, headaches, and constipation. It's like a hangover but without the fun night before. So how do we avoid this macro mayhem? Well, you wouldn't ignore your boss's email, so why ignore your macros? It's time to seek guidance, utilize tools, plan and prep your meals, prioritize whole foods and listen your body. It's a bit like being a detective, but instead of solving a crime, you're solving your diet. Remember, macros are the boss in the keto world. So let's give them the attention they deserve. After all, you wouldn't ignore a call from your boss, would you? So why ignore your macros? It's time to master the art of macros and get back on the keto track. If you're finding this video helpful, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more keto tips and tricks. Drop us a comment below if you have any questions or need further guidance. Let's conquer these macros together. Fear not my keto comrades, we're here to turn you into a macro maestro. You see the secret to acing the keto diet isn't just about slashing carbs, it's about understanding and balancing your macros, that is, carbohydrates, proteins, and fats. But don't fret, we're about to get you up to speed in this game of macros. First things first, guidance is golden. It's like having a GPS for your keto journey. A registered dietitian or healthcare professional can be your guide, helping you calculate and track your macros for those optimal keto results. They can make sure you're not straying off the keto path and ensure you're getting a balanced intake of all those essential vitamins and minerals. So, don't hesitate to seek out their expertise. Next, enter the digital age with tools that calculate and track your macros. Think of these as your personal assistants, always ready to help you keep your macros in check. There are plenty of free and paid apps and websites out there that are just a click away. 
These tools can be tailored to your specific needs helping you stay on top of your macro game. Now let's talk about planning and prepping your meals. Yes, it might sound tedious, but hey, who said counting macros can't be as fun as counting stars? Meal planning is like setting the stage for a successful keto diet. It helps you stay on track with your macro goals and avoid those last-minute, not-so-keto-friendly food choices. So, get creative, plan your meals, and prep those ingredients. Let's not forget about the importance of choosing whole, unprocessed foods. These nutritional powerhouses provide a wealth of essential nutrients along with your desired macro balance. So, wave goodbye to those packaged options and say hello to a whole new world of nutrient-rich foods. Lastly, remember to listen to your body. It's like your own personal health barometer. Pay attention to your hunger cues and adjust your macros as needed. If you're feeling satisfied and energized, you're probably on the right track. If not, it might be time to recalibrate those macros. With these tips, you'll be a macro maestro in no time. So, gear up and get ready to conquer the keto diet like a pro. Remember, mastering macros is a journey, not a destination. It's about learning, adjusting, and enjoying the process. So, don't be afraid to ask for help, share your experiences, and keep learning as you go. And remember, we're all in this together. So, let's create a supportive community where we can share our learnings and experiences on this keto journey. Keto on, friends! Now that you're armed with knowledge, it's time to share and care. That's right, folks, the keto journey isn't a solo expedition. It's a community trek, and we're all in this together. So, don't be shy. Let's turn this space into a buzzing hive of shared experiences, tips, and questions. Have you faced any challenges while trying to master your macros? Perhaps you found it tough to balance your protein intake, or maybe those pesky carbs kept sneaking into your diet. Whatever the hiccup, we want to hear about it. Sharing your struggles is not just cathartic, it's also a way to help others who might be facing the same challenges. Now, we all know that the right tools can make any task a breeze. So let's talk about your favorite keto resources. Maybe you found a nifty app that calculates your macros in a jiffy, or perhaps you stumbled upon a helpful blog that demystified the keto diet. Whatever your go-to resources are, do tell. Your recommendation might just be the game changer someone else needs. And of course, if you have any questions, doubts, or concerns about understanding and implementing macros on your keto journey, don't hesitate to ask. No question is too small or too silly. Remember, we're all learning together. So let's make this space a safe haven for curiosity and discovery. Finally, keep in mind that mastering macros is a learning process. It's okay if you don't get it right the first time or even the second or third. Be patient with yourself. Ask for help when needed. Don't be afraid to adjust your approach as you go. After all, the keto journey is not about perfection, it's about progress. So let's create a supportive community where we can share our learnings and experiences on the keto path. Every story shared, every question asked, every tip given enriches this community and makes our collective keto journey more meaningful. Remember, your experiences might just be the key to someone else's success. So let's share, care, and keto on, friends. So we've decoded the macros mystery, but the journey doesn't end here. Like any good detective, you've gathered the clues, pieced them together, and solved the puzzle. But remember, Rome wasn't built in a day, and neither is your perfect keto diet. Navigating the keto diet can be tricky, but understanding macros, those cheeky little carbohydrates, proteins, and fats, is your secret weapon. And hey, if you find yourself straying off the keto path, don't sweat it. It's all part of the process. Remember there's no such thing as a perfect diet, only the diet that's perfect for you. Listen your body, adjust as needed, and don't forget to enjoy the journey. After all, it's not just about the destination, but the delicious keto-friendly meals you'll discover along the way. Keep calm keto on, and don't forget to subscribe for more food for thought. And while you're here, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on our future videos.